Of our planet Earth, it has been said that water is the most important ingredient for life. It is thought that water, oxygen, and warmth from the sun are three things without which there would be no life on Earth. In winter, when the land and water are frozen, creatures that depend on the river for warmth and nourishment struggle to survive. They must fend for themselves and seek such protection and nourishment as the river will yield. For some, it is enough and they survive. For others, it is not enough and they do not survive. But the return of spring brings warmth and new life. meandering more than 100 miles from its beginnings in the Clifton Gorge area to its confluence with the Ohio River near Cincinnati, the Little Miami River provides home and subsistence for the many creatures that depend on it for survival. It has been designated a national and state scenic river, worthy of the protection and benefits such designations provide. 12,000 years ago, our Native American ancestors lived by the Little Miami River. Their earthworks, artifacts, and mounds remain as evidence of their existence. Today, the river and valley through which it flows are best known for the wildlife habitat and recreational opportunities provided for visitors and residents alike. So how should we regard this place? What should be our role and our relationship to the Little Miami National and State Scenic River? For answers to these questions, perhaps some insights would be of value from those who have provided care and stewardship to the Little Miami River over the past 40 years. Well, I'm Rick Rogers, State Wildlife Officer. I work for the Ohio Department of Natural Resources, Division of Wildlife. I've been with the agency about eight years. In that eight years, I've been assigned to Warren County, which, as you know, has the Little Miami River flowing through it um, in its watershed. I'm Eric Partee. I'm executive director of Little Miami Incorporated. Little Miami Incorporated is a nonprofit river conservation organization that was created in 1967 by local citizens to preserve the Little Miami National Wild and Scenic River. My name's Shannon Hoffer. I'm with the Ohio Department of Natural Resources Division of Natural Areas and Preserves. I'm a district preserve manager, and our division um, administers state nature preserves throughout the state. We uh, manage 130 state nature preserves, several scenic river properties. To preserve a river corridor, there are basically two major topics of concern. One is the habitat itself. Are there trees along the river? Uh, is there good flowing water? Uh, ripples and pools that make up good fish habitat. Uh, the other aspect is the water quality itself. Threats to either of those particular uh, items uh, deserve our consideration and, and are important to address. The Water Quality Project LLC runs this environmental lab that you're in called the River Lab. Um, out of this lab, we run a citizen monitoring program called the Saturday Stream Snapshot Program. This program started in 2003, and we have run about five and a half years to date and collected data on the lower Little Miami watershed. Their mission was to promote protection and improvement of the environment. Every year, over 100,000 people canoe the Little Miami. And what's interesting to point out is that right below their canoes, below the waterline, is a vast river ecosystem, a very delicate system that depends on what's flowing into the river, uh, how it impacts it. Uh, are, are there sufficient rocks and ripples and spaces between rocks to house uh, aquatic insects and small fish. 
Below the canoe, below that water line, are over 84 different species of fish, some of which are rare and endangered, and literally hundreds of additional species of aquatic insects, all of which are bound together in the, in the web of life and are important to each other to protect. So looking at those issues, the kinds of things you don't normally see as you canoe the river are critical to the health of the river ecosystem. There's about 160 species of fish found in Ohio. We can find over 80 of those just in the Little Miami River alone, and it's tributaries, cod sport, things like that. So that's pretty unique. It's, uh, it's a unique thing to see that many um, fish species in one given watershed. It's really just a great place to come and kayak, to canoe, and to just view wildlife in general. Um, the riparian habitat is very well established. You know, I, we don't want to overlook just the uh, aspect of just bird watching. Um, you know, I often see late winter kayakers on the river, which is neat to see uh, with their, uh, you know, foul weather gear. And, um, and they're the ones that actually end up telling me about the bald eagles that they see. And um, last two years in a row, I've had two mature bald eagles. So I have really high hopes at some point we'll get some nesting going on. Over the years, Ohio EPA and uh, local citizens have expressed their concerns about cleaning up uh, pollution coming into the river. And I'm happy to report that in 2007, that 40 years worth of effort uh, was, was successful in cleaning up the river uh, so that the, the entire stretch of the Little Miami main stem uh, is in full attainment of both chemical and biological water quality standards for the state. So uh, a lot of effort, uh, uh, a lot of dollars went into upgrading treatment plants, uh, working with the agricultural community, uh, and, and numerous other sources to make it happen. But it took, it took time and dedication and a real passion to make sure that that job was done. Today, we have to be sure that the job stays done. But as far as the sport fishery goes, um, you know, it's excellent smallmouth fishing. Um, Saw guy. We have uh, a good variety of panfish as well, and then um, gars is a very popular item, especially during when they run up the uh, Todd's Fork um, in late spring. There's another popular game fish that comes up out of the Ohio River, uh, the hybrid striped bass, which comes up. It's stocked into the Ohio River basin, and then it moves up the tributaries. And Little Miami River would be one of those tributaries. Along our scenic river properties, which are located like this one along the Mathers Mill area, um, we protect corridors. Um, we try to, to uh, purchase property or have property donated or have property protected that is um, within the river corridor, um, preferably within a 100 foot buffer of the river. Um, we take care of those properties, we, we let them re return to their natural state and um, it helps keep the temperatures of the river cool, um, which pr helps produce and protect fish life within the river. And uh, the state nature preserves that we, we protect uh, are usually located along those rivers, along the steep banks and bluffs of uh, the Little Miami River. We have Caesar Creek Gorge State Nature Preserve. Um, Caesar Creek Gorge, or Caesar Creek, is actually protected also. And along the Little Miami River, we have uh, Halls Creek State Nature Preserve, which is also protecting a tributary to the Little Miami River. Warren County uh, Park District has uh, recently um, started obtaining property, and those are also uh, state nature preserves that they're they're protecting. Um, one is uh, the Heisey Farm property next to Caesar Creek Gorge State Nature Preserve. The other is the Mathers Mill Warren County Nature Preserve. By different agencies being able to team up, like Warren County Park District and the State of Ohio's Division of Natural Areas and Preserves, the State of Ohio's Division of Wildlife, um, Division of Parks and Recreation. It's, it's teamwork. We're, we're helping protect the river, the properties, uh, geological features, um, native plant species, and wildlife communities.